Hello everybody! And this would probably do well for Shellac Sunday, so I'm probably going to save it for that and put out more than maybe one video on a Sunday, because usually I'm playing a record. This time I got records I can't play because I'm sure they'll probably get hit with copyright. But I made a score recently that was pretty cool. Um, I saw an ad in Marketplace for a guy that had a little pile of uh, Shellac 78s, and he was in Naples. And sure enough, my job actually gave me a booking and said, go to Naples. So I messaged the guy and said, can you meet me? And he met me and we exchanged a very tiny amount of money and he handed me a rusted out old cookie tin filled with records with no sleeves that I had to spend quite a bit of time cleaning up. But uh, I think you'll be surprised by what's in there. So the rest of this video is just going to be a flip through. Um, just looking at what was there. It's it's not a big stack, but it's a decent stack. And uh, right off the bat, you see that dial label. So I'll try to keep my shadow out there. We got Charlie Parker, and this one is another Charlie Parker and his orchestra on Mercury. We have a Savoy. And this one, Errol Garner. So, I mean, a nice stack of bebop here. We got Stan Getz on New Jazz. Uh, there's a complete album of Charlie Parker in here on several 78s, but no booklet that went with them. Okay. This is George Shearing. There's another New Jazz. This one is by Lee Connitz. This one is another Charlie Parker on dial. That's the B side. A side is Bird of Paradise. I mean, I'll probably be aiming the B side at you a lot on these. I didn't really look at them. Uh, Stan Getz. Yeah, so I'll flip them over if I see the B there. Uh, this one is Pistol Pack and Mama, Hank Hill. I love getting Savoy stuff. That's just, I don't know why. I'm really attracted to that label. Um, Oscar Peterson. I love Oscar Peterson. I have several LPs. George Shearing Quintet. There's a few MGMs in here. Another George Shearing Quintet on MGM. Uh, this one is an unusual kind of label. Uh... This is Mercury label that's kind of odd. Okay, jazz at the Philharmonic. Norman Grants, and just thought that was kind of an unusual one. This one's a Decca. Have Lionel Hampton. It's not as much of a deal. Here we go. Another George Shearing. And they're not great, but they're not terrible condition. Some of them are good condition. Some of them are meh. Okay, this is, I think, one of the Charlie Parkers that was a group. It's on Mercury, I think. Yeah, there were three of these, and they, they make up a, an album. And all of the discs are sequential and belong in that album. But uh, we don't have the original cover. There's another dial. Earl Coleman. Uh, we have a Prestige. Stan Getz. Another Charlie Parker on Mercury. An Aladdin. This one is... Lester Young. So, I mean, I'm going to gonna feel like a beatnik after listening to all this stuff. Another Oscar Peterson. Another George Shearing. Another George Shearing on MGM. That's everything. But, wow. I just feel like I got lucky with that. That was uh, quite a haul on 78s. And that's not the only 78 RPM haul that I made. 
So I also have another nifty little stack that came up. This one from a yard sale. And uh, I just threw five bucks and walked away with the whole lot. So that first lot, uh, I had a customer that tipped me really nicely for taking them all the way over there because that's about a two and a half, three hour drive. So uh, I figured I can spare a 20 to meet up with this guy. And he responded right away and that's how I got all that jazz. Um, this one is all kids records. And I'd just not seen these before. These are a Capital, I think, subsidiary? Yeah, Capital Records. And they're called Tiny Tunes. And they have Capital featured artists. So we got Jack Smith on this with Animal Songs as a, the collection. And there were just a few of these in there. Not many. So they're nifty. They're about, uh, they're not quite a seven. They're about a six and a half inch. And then, this is what I was after. More of those Voco and Record Guild of America things. And I got a, a, a duplicate in there too that I'm gonna share with a friend. But a huge stack of them to add to the collection. I mean, a really, really good stack. And they were just like, yeah, we don't think anybody cares about these or is gonna be interested in them. Well, the right guy came along because I think they're neat. Am I probably gonna spin them often? Probably at least once because kids' records can be absolutely bizarre, as you heard from the Humpty Dumpty one that I spun in an earlier video. That is a strange recording, actually. Just backed by accordion, but some of these say they're backed by a full orchestra. So it'd be interesting to see uh, how they fare out, especially this one. How do you fit Cinderella into approximately two minutes? And some of these are downright cute in this lot. The first lot that I had on there, some of them are really homely. I mean, not all of them are really nice in this, but some of them are pretty nice. And of course, they're all, these are all the uh, type that are kind of like a two-sided cereal box record. It's a paper core. Uh, with some sort of enamel finish over the top that's very delicate that's been pressed on. Occasionally they did put out from Record Guild some that actually had a clear edge but they tend to uh, chip up easily because of the way those were made and they're more like a modern picture disc where they're like a, a lamination that's more solid. Um, these, these, these are the paper type. They're everything but a flexi basically. So that's it. I think I did pretty good. And other than that, I've been uh, checking out LPs. So I got some George Benson going in the background where I'm uh, listening to the LPs from that free haul from before. Um, haven't really invested in much of anything else. I, I spent a couple of dollars to uh, get a, uh, a soundtrack at less than a quarter of the retail price for it typically of uh, Disney's Turning Red. And it's pretty packaged, it's a little crackly, but uh, really nice incidental music on that. Not so much into the boy band component of it, although that is integral to the story in the film. But uh, it's it's a really pretty package with a gate fold and a lot of illustrations. And uh, the, the records are just they're traditional translucent red, but they're pretty. And so that's about it for this. I just thought I'd share that with you. It was a, a couple of nice little hauls I made recently. And I think, uh, I think again, that uh, I'm pretty happy with them. Talk to you soon.